All right, so let us add some more features to the project. Let's say I create one more feature. Uh, let's say I want to do something on production. So I'll say login uh, to production. To production dot feature. So one of the feature is logging on to the production. So let's say we were doing everything on, on the test server, on the staging server, right? There are some features which are enabled on uh, production server. It could be like uh, when you are uh, attempting a login, there, there's a CAPTCHA image uh, that you need to validate, right? So that image is not available on a test server because uh, uh, in order to validate CAPTCHA, you need to add it, you need to automate uh, additional logic, right? At times, uh, CAPTCHA images cannot be handled uh, or via automation script, you need to manually handle them. But let's assume that uh, we need to validate CAPTCHA uh, using uh, some of the coding part. So what we're gonna do, I'll just copy the entire uh, feature uh, from here and uh, I'll create another login to production feature. Right, in order to perform successful login to production, and uh, correct username password and let's say on production this age category is not there right instead of this we have an uh, user validates the captcha image right and i'm not using any uh, parameterization let's assume uh, so it should be scenario in order to verify login to facebook production and I'll just remove these things as well over here so it's a simple feature file right entered let's say valid username valid password and should be successfully logged in right now uh, I'll add one more scenario over here uh, and let's say this scenario is invalid user, invalid password should not successfully log in. Right. So another feature, uh, but this is a feature onto production and uh, I want to execute this feature. So let us first try running it from here. I'll say run as uh, I'll create one more cucumber feature over here. So this one I'll just name it as uh, login. I'll add another one. Say login to production. Right and I'll run this. So when I run this, I need to add a missing step right so this one is the missing step now what i'll do uh, i can add this missing step in the login step itself but if you want to create a separate uh, step file for production you can say login uh, production step file and add this uh, missing feature over here right so let us import this and now uh, right at the and let's say user validates the captcha image right so see i've created a separate uh, step file for it and if i now run this uh, cucumber feature log into production you can see uh, all the steps are executed uh, and uh, if you see uh, the rest of the steps were actually validated from the previous step file right so you it, it doesn't matter i mean if i if i try to keep uh, the same step uh, in the login step file right i can add this thing over here as well and what will happen if i run this now it will actually going to show me the duplicate step added see i get an error for duplicate step definition so if you if you don't want to keep it in login production a separate one you can even comment this out if you run this it will still gonna work right so you can create different feature files you can create a uh, different step definition and uh, but you need to make sure 
that step should not be duplicated right if the step is already present in one feature file you should not keep it in a different feature file to make it more manageable you can create different feature files that should be fine all right so i can now remove this thing from here and if you want to run this uh, as a whole from uh, junit test you can say right click run as junit test and you're going to see that uh, all two features have been executed in the first feature we have these scenarios in a parameterized form and in the second one we have two scenarios over here uh, that that is successfully executed right so this is how we can add uh, multiple feature files and multiple step files to your cucumber test